More than half of parents said that phones were a major source of arguments and a third said that they had cried over their child's phone use. I, I asked the question, Evelyn, just take the phone away. I, I know it's not that easy, but you are the parent. Surely you should make an executive decision. If it's causing that much trouble, it has to go. Un unfortunately, parents need to learn how to say no and they need to learn to say it despite, you know, p potentially hurting in the short term their children. And I think that sometimes parents might feel that it's unloving to take their kids away from their phone because then they're missing out on things with their friends. But I think it's more unloving to expose them to the things that are on these uh, devices. Look, the gift that I am going to give my children when they turn 18 is welcome to adulthood. You got through all of your childhood without having any of it on the internet, yep. and here's my gift to you. So I'm going to caveat with that. But I do wonder that we, we are talking so much about the damage and the harm that's happening to our children with devices, with social media. Like, this is the hot topic of the minute, right? Is it a coincidence that the minute they're trying to drop legislation about banning social media for 14 and unders, that we're now hearing that all of this harm is happening? Are they, are they sort of creating a pretext to, to make people sympathise with this legislation? Because as much as I would... Hang on, none of that's been new. We've been talking about yes, that for years. But no, but it, it's, it also, is, it's it all is, wrapped up in the yes. misinformation it, stuff at the same time. Yeah, it's all dropped at the same time. All the has. problems are in one bucket now. <laughs> yeah, and so for me, I, I mean, yeah, like, I, I would say that, like, and I'm going to caveat with this, social media is not a place for children. It is worse than parents can imagine. I've seen it behind the curtain uh, with um, being a detective in child abuse. It is horrendous. It is worse than you want to get them off. I will never let my children have it while they are minors. Same with phones. It's just not going to happen. But that's a parenting thing. And I just want to, I want to lead with that, that if we continue to ask the government to parent for us, they will. And it could escalate into areas where we do not want them to parent. And, like... I think it's great to ban it, but I think we need to change the culture around parents doing that and not getting the government to play mum and dad. That terrifies me because it wasn't long ago mum and dad, the government, were basically saying, I, I legally am going to hold you down and inject you with a vaccine um, against your will if you want to live your life in this country. And so for me, I'm here going, I'm not trying to carry away with conspiracies and going nutty, but when you give the government legislation and you enact it, it might sound good now, but it can be used in the future for things. These public health orders and public health acts that we used in New South Wales, in Western Australia, in every state were done in the 50s. So my point is what we let into legislation now is so important because it sets a tone for what can happen. If we get a really bad government, worse than today, what the heck could they do with those sorts of powers? So I don't want the government to have that power over my children. Um, I want to be the one to say no smartphones. I want to be the one to say no social media. That's my job between my husband and I and our family. That's what you do. Um, bring back that culture. Bring back the family culture and you will do this. Do not let the government play mum and dad. But, but see, people, want to, people want to abrogate that, as we talked about the last time. Oh, people want to abrogate that. We don't say... We don't say... We don't say... But what, I should be able to measure whether or not my nine-year-old can smoke cigarettes or not. Yeah, or it should be up to me whether my 12-year-old can drink whiskey. Well, I mean, the same uh, It's do, not, it's not just that, but it just becomes so much is, more difficult when children and parents are faced with a situation where everyone else in their class, everyone else in their year already solution. has smartphones <laughs> to have a government uh, legislation that dictates it certainly makes what it they easier. do will it make does, it absolutely easier. Does. And I just, I think on this, on this count, I disagree. Evelyn, I think it's far too important to leave it up to, in many cases, lazier, more irresponsible parents than clearly you are, to make a decision that could potentially ruin their child's life. But it I is think like cigarettes. I think we need to ban it and... I would agree we do, that. We do make decisions. Well, we all make decisions every day. I was going to say, not, not all. I'm not a parent. But, I mean, all parents make decisions every day that may or may not affect their children's lives. Mm. I'll give you the, the final word here, Paul. Do, have you introduced devices in your home? Uh, no. I've got a little one who's asking for it, and it's like, no, it's not going to happen. Like, I'm, this is where I'm going to be an 80s dad, OK? I'm just, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, my solution to all of this is that, that from kindergarten all the way through, most parents are in some sort of a WhatsApp group, right, where you're all aware of what's happening in your, your class. I would love 
somebody, now my better half has asked me not to, hmm. but I'll do it on telly, um, which is um, <laughs> right in those parent groups and say, hey, can we all have a deal? Don't, like, not... That's you. a great idea. Let's this all agree. Yes. Yes. Let's all agree they're, as parents yeah. we're not going to... Yes. Because the, if the fear is that, oh, well, my kid's going to be left out, da, da, well, if, if you can get a good collection yeah. of parents. Now, I think that... I think that That's part of being getting involved with your child's education <laughs> and life. Yes. But, I'm saying, exactly. but I'm saying... But I, I agree in that, in that I think that it shouldn't be available. I'm fine with the laws in there. I'm not fine with sort of some of the games that are being played around it. However, again... Uh, I can say it because, again, you can tell jokes about yourself, can't you? <laughs> fat kids get fat because of what we feed them. <laughs> kids get phones that we buy them. Yes. Kids get addicted to things that we buy them. Yes. Exactly. And, and, that's, and that's the, you know, as a parent, you have to be able to, you should be able to make those decisions. It shouldn't always have to be farmed out. But for heaven's sake, we haven't got to this position out of doing nothing. We have done things. We've given them the devices. Take them away. 